Hello! In this tutorial, we will walk you through how to calibrate your OptiTrack system using Motive. In preparation for the calibration process, you will want to prepare your environment by blocking or removing any physical elements that might interfere with your cameras. This includes open windows that might let sunlight in, and reflective surfaces or spare markers that are anywhere throughout the volume. Once the environment has been prepped, you can easily mask out any remaining light sources, like IR interference from the other cameras in the volume, using one of several camera masking tools. The simplest option is to use Motive's one-click auto-masking feature. It will instantly mask bright spots in all cameras simultaneously. You can also clear all masking with a single click. If you need to manually mask some portions of a camera, Motive has tools for drawing a circle mask, drawing a square mask, or using the pencil tool for drawing and erasing single pixels. Motive's Block Visible button on the calibration pane is the simplest way to automatically mask all bright spots with one click. Once 2D masking is complete, you can begin the calibration process by clicking the Start Wanding button. The calibration engine will automatically begin recording samples as soon as the calibration wand is detected. The calibration engine pane will turn green once a sufficient number of samples have been collected. However, while capturing a sufficient sample count is important, the primary goal during wanding is to maximize coverage both in the 2D camera views and throughout the desired physical capture volume. You should continue wanding until sufficient coverage has been achieved. To thoroughly cover the physical volume, we recommend walking a grid pattern throughout the space, covering every area that you desire to capture from the floor to the top of the volume. You'll know when you have sufficient camera coverage when each 2D camera view is thoroughly covered edge to edge with well distributed wanding samples. Once you have wanded the complete capture volume and the 2D camera views have been sufficiently covered, you can move on to calculation. After you begin calculation, you simply wait for the calibration engine to converge on a solution. If you want the most accurate calibration possible, you can allow the engine to continue to calculate for as long as you'd like. However, the time to achieve an exceptional calibration usually only requires a couple of minutes. You can monitor the calibration progress in 3D by opening the 3D volume view, which will contain a cloud of wand samples. Initially, the samples will be red, which indicates higher sample error the samples will begin turning blue as the quality improves. A completely blue sample cloud indicates that the calculation is nearing completion. You can confirm the progress of the calculation by referring back to the calibration engine pane, which should show that the individual camera qualities are all excellent or exceptional, along with the notification that the calibration is ready to apply. After you apply the result, you will be prompted to save a recording of the wanding. After saving the wanding, you can set the ground plane, which will complete the calibration process and prompt you to save the calibration file. 